the can opener. Can opener. Let's see what we're aiming for. Come up the ramp, fakie, back foot on the tail. Do a little hop, get the back up into the air, back foot lands near the coping, rush the front foot across the coping. As you do so, bang the back of the board with your backhand, and that will make it pivot around your foot a full 360 degrees. Comes back onto the coping and you're ready now to hop back in. This trick is very much a two-part trick. You've got the coming up and doing the front foot impossible part, which is the can opener bit. The board is spinning around like the end of a can opener. And then you've got the second bit, which is from this point, without the back foot on the board, hopping back into the ramp. I've already done a video on how to develop coming back into the ramp with your back foot off this hopping back in via a trick called the sweeper. So you might want to check out the video on the sweeper because it's got a section on how to hop back in with your back foot off of the board. It's quite a long-winded process. Very, very scary. We're not going to cover that in this video because I've already covered it in the sweeper video. The main thing I'm going to aim for today is this front foot impossible can opener part, which is aptly named because I am finding it pretty impossible. Some of the troubles I'm having, as I come up the ramp, I whoosh the front foot and the board just flies out the back. That happens nine times out of ten. I think the remedy for that is I need to get more pop and try and jump up a bit more vertically as opposed to using the momentum of the board going backwards. So up into the air, try and get the board to stall. The second thing I'm having trouble with is this can opener part, the front foot impossible. It's getting it to spin around my front foot. I think the remedy for that is I need to try and hold my foot as horizontal as I can out in front of me so that the board spins. The board naturally does not want to spin on this axis. It's just natural physics. It's very difficult, hence why that move of spinning the board around your front foot is called a front foot impossible. I've thought of ways to try and develop this skill outside of the ramp, but there's no real way to do it because you have to get the pop right to get the ability to practice this spinning around the front foot. So you can try it down on the ground on a curb, see if you can get it spinning around, but there's no substitute for actually rushing, jumping, trying to get the timing of this pop correct and spinning it round. Loads to think about today. My goal is to come up and do a really smooth front foot impossible right round, grab with the front hand and hop back in in one nice fluid movement. I've also noticed that when Tony Hawk does this move, instead of tapping the tail with his back hand, he taps his tail with the front hand and grabs the nose of his front hand, which looks really cool, really stylish. It's actually even more hard to do because you're coming up and you're reaching and then tapping and then grabbing all with one hand. I might give that a go depending on how we get on with the standard backhand tail tap. Whew. Let's take a look at that front foot impossible in isolation. Okay, so we've come up the ramp fakie, hopped out onto the back leg, front foot is still on the board going to tap the back of the board with the back hand and then grab it with the front hand at that point we're ready to hop back in so coming up fakie grab and then hop back in as i say it's quite easy to do in situation so it's not worth spending too much time practicing it on a curb because it's all about getting the right fakie pop to get it into this position so you can slap the tail, grab the nose and back in. Let's take it onto the ramp. Okay, to start with, I'm just gonna warm up with a few back foot hop-ins. That's the end of this trick. Just wanna make sure I feel comfortable and confident with that, just in case I do get a lucky front foot impossible, I can come back in as fast as possible. Whew, still pretty scary that. Let's try sending up a few fakey ollies, see if I can get that board to sit on the end of my foot. 
Okay, that's a classic example of what usually happens. Ball just flies out the back. So what I'm gonna try this time is putting my front foot a little bit more over the bolt and physically hop in, up in the air, onto the coping, try and rush this front foot forward, see if I can get the ball to come up in the air, try and bang the back with my hand. Okay, that felt better. Managed to bang the back of the board, but my front foot wasn't straight enough and the board just went on a crazy spin. This time I'm gonna come up, try and stick my front foot out as I bang the back, see if I can get it to do a full loop. Okay, my spin is a little bit wonky. I think that's because my foot isn't straight enough. It's making it very hard to grab the nose once it's done a rotation. This time, I'm gonna try and hop a bit more vertically and try and stick my front foot out a little bit more on a horizontal plane, see if I can get to do a spin and a grab. Next week, I'm just gonna try and bring my front foot up a little bit higher. That'll allow more room for the impossible spin. Okay, starting to get a few better spins now. The thing I've changed is as I come up, I'm coming more square to the ramp and I'm wishing that front foot up to get a little bit of pop, trying to keep my foot Horizontal as I swipe, I'm trying to bend that back knee as well. Woo. Okay, I need to start practicing coming back in as well. So the next one that I spin round, no matter how scruffy, I'm gonna try and come back in. made it in from a couple, Whew, that's progress. Super sketchy, came off the back of one as well. So I've got to be prepared for when I jump in, just to go for it. It all happens quite quickly. This time I'm gonna keep on trying to get that front foot spin really neat, see if I can make one. Another thing I've noticed, you need to come up the ramp dead straight. If you come on any sort of angle when you swish your leg, the board flies off to the side and you can't get to hit the tail. Okay, that one felt better. The thing I changed is I just tried to relax. As I came up, just relax everything. I'm getting quite tense from trying to make these. Way too much time between completing the impossible part and coming back in. Hopefully I'll get more, start to make it more fluid. Little tip for coming back in, I'm making sure the board is right over into the transition because I'm worried about these wheels hanging up. That way I can be sure that they're not gonna hang up. Okay, just trying to speed up the hop in. Those last two, my feet were nowhere near right, but I chanced my arm, managed to get away with it. I'm starting to get some confidence for the fast hop back in. Woo. Okay, starting to get a few in a row. They're quite sketchy. I'm finding the trick with the pop is to come and just jump from the bottom, aim the back leg for the coping and try and relax this foot. Bring it across and up in that motion. So it needs to come to about there. Hopefully the board will follow. And at that point you can pat the back and spin it round. Try and keep this foot horizontal so you get a good spin. better. I think 
I can claim that one fluid movement. The hopping was a bit sketchy. Seemed like I was landing quite a long way down and that made for not a very pretty getaway, but that's progress. I'm gonna do some more. interest I'm just going to give the Tony Hawk style front hand tail slap a go front hand tail slap front hand nose grab back hand gets a day off let's give it a go to get a couple with the front hand slap on the tail, front hand nose grab, back hand taking a break. Whew. Feels more committed and definitely more tricky, but probably does look a little bit more fluid and a little bit more cool if you can do it with the one hand all the way through. I'm gonna mix it up, do some back hand, some front hand, see which one I prefer. Okay, that's it for the can opener. Let's run through the key points. So coming up in fakey, front foot on the bolts or maybe just a little bit in front so you can get an ollie pop. Bend down, jump with the legs and imagine your back leg is gonna jump up on the coping. As you do that, swish your front leg past your back leg and try and get your foot as high as you can. At this point, reach with the back or front hand and slap the tail. Keep the foot pointed out and horizontal so you get a good spin. As it comes around, grab with the front hand and then tip for coming back in. Just make sure the board is inside the ramp so you don't get a hang up on these wheels. It's actually fine to sort of jump in and leap in from quite a way into the ramp I was finding. Just a case of committing and jumping back in. Pretty pleased to have got some of those Tony Hawk style front hand only ones. Very ragged though, I'm gonna keep working on those. The backhand slap to the front hand is definitely easier, but I think once the front hand exclusive slap and grab is cultivated, I think that looks more stylish. It's more in keeping with the way that Tony Hawk does the can opener himself. Let's run through it in real time. Coming up the ramp, bend your knees. Push down, do a little hop. Back foot goes on the coping, front foot swishes past, slap the tail, board rotates around the foot, grab with the front hand, put the board into the transition and launch back in. Last thing is put your back foot onto the board and hopefully ride away. I look forward to doing more of these. They're a super fun retro trick and they feel great when you get them just right. Leave me a comment on how you get on with them. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate.